This is air transportation or air taxi that will get you in an urban environment uh, in a dense population from point A to point B. Uh, basically an hour trip in either Atlanta traffic or New York or LA uh, could be cut down to about maybe uh, seven to eight minutes. You look at Lake Michigan and you go to people in Detroit and they need to get to Milwaukee or Nina, Wisconsin, or need to get to Rochester to the Mayo Clinic. That's probably an eight to 10 hour drive through Chicago. Now, if you took an eVTOL, probably over there in less than an hour. So it's applications like that that we are looking for for use cases and what's the concept of operations on how you build that. We have these things called eVTOL, which is uh, uh, vertical takeoff and landing, electric. Okay, so they're battery powered, possibly hydrogen powered one day. So these things take off like a helicopter, but then once they get up to a certain level of AGL, which, which we call ground level, uh, they go horizontally and you save time, you save space, but you've got to make sure that you don't have uh, conflection in the air with the other airplanes and helicopters and drones. Uh, and we call that deconfliction. So the airspace is one of the most important things that we're working on from a technical perspective. My name is Bob Johnson. I am the Chief Commercial Officer for Velatus Infrastructure and Energy Solutions. We are an advanced air mobility company that are putting uh, drones and flying taxis uh, in the air for transportation and to save lives. We build the actual hardware infrastructure. So we're building the launch pads where they can take off and land. My career over 40 years has been in building infrastructure for telecom companies, for utilities, uh, working with robotics. And this was a way to solve a problem. Uh, and this was a way to help to get to net zero of emissions and carbon. I think this was one good way to help move people in areas that basically are unserved and underserved by aviation. This is not a, uh, a one thing that fits all, it's basically complementary to the transportation system. One day, I, I could definitely see how people will have their own personal vehicles right now because some of these are, are one crew and, and especially uh, what we call uh, autonomous. Uh, the, the best thing about this is we're not gonna have a pilot on board because it's gonna be fly by wire. It's gonna be fly by computer. And so that's gonna give an extra seat to someone. When you think about emergency services, you think about the interstates that we have, the, the crashes that we have, the, the lives that we're losing just on the U.S. highways. Instead of flying the patients to the hospital with, with a helicopter or life service, with AAM, we bring the doctor to the accident. We can save lives at the accident. And seconds are very precious, as we all know. That is one of the best things about AAM. That's why uh, emergency services is going to be one of the leading use cases uh, that we're looking at right now. I, I think one of the things that, that we can do as, as ordinary citizens right now is to take part in the demos, take part in these air shows, understand that this is for good, not for bad. Uh, I think one of the biggest uh, uh, challenges we all have is a lot of people will think this is for the rich and the affluent uh, because the price point may be a little bit high uh, when we first but you've got to scale that and when you realize that what this is all about is not for the rich and the affluent it's not for the the business jets uh, we're trying to democratize the whole sector. We're trying to make it available for everyone at a price point that everyone can do.